the heck is that? It's a damn snow snake. Wait a second. That's not a snow snake. That's the new Extendo vent from 70 Savage. What is up guys? 70 Savage here coming at you today with a very exciting video. So far you guys might know me from having built a couple of these Sprinter camper vans on the channel, but today I am launching my very first van life product and it's called the Extendo vent. I've spent about the last six months and almost $5,000 of my own money developing this thing. Let me tell you guys what it actually does. But before we dive in, if this video gets at least 2,000 likes, I will give away three Extendo vents for free. All you gotta do is go to 70savage.com, enter your email address, and I'll pick three of y'all at random. Okay, so what is this thing that we named the Extendo vent, which barely beat out the Snow Snake and barely beat out the Drake vent? This corner that I'm sitting in right now inside of my camper van here stays pretty cold, even though when I'm running the diesel heater, the rest of the van stays like a nice even 70 degrees. And after trying a ton of different ways to make this corner warmer, there was nothing existing in the world that solved this problem in an elegant way. So that spawned the idea of what if I could just direct the air from the diesel heater directly into this corner and stay warm throughout my work day. So how it works is it just kind of looks like a regular old heat vent that you install at the end of one of your diesel heaters and you can move the ball around to redirect the air in different directions, but it has the special feature of being able to unlock it and pull the vent out so that you can literally just like place the vent in a variety of different locations in your van. That being said, I don't think that particularly cold corners are the only reason you'd want an extendo vent. Um, if you have wet clothing that you want to hang up in your bathroom and you want to get heat into that bathroom to dry the clothes overnight, extendo vent's a great solution for that. It can also kind of be used as like an off-grid hairdryer because of how hot the heat that the diesel heater puts out. Another one I thought of this morning, if you're taking your kid to like the toy store and they see a slinky and they really want it, you can just tell them we have slinkies at home. And this is the slinky at home. I used it last weekend when I went out to Pyramid Lake to fish monster cutthroat trout and it was like really cold outside, dumping snow, miserable experience if you didn't have a cozy camper van to come back into. And it officially kept this corner nice and warm, so it serves its purpose. I have my Extendo vent installed in a pretty common location for diesel heaters in camper vans, and it's underneath the passenger seat. But I'm very aware that not everybody has their diesel heater installed underneath the passenger seat inside of a camper van. And I really wanted the Extendo vent to work for every single diesel heater that exists at least as many as possible. So I've designed the extend event to use two different kinds of duct. It has the compressible and extendable duct that allows you to pull it out and redirect the air where you want. And then it also has the canister housing duct that sits outside of the compressible duct. And that's a very bendable, flexible duct as well. So even if you have a little tiny short cabinet, you can just create a quick bend off of the tip of the vent. Or if you have a really long cabinet that's skinny, you can just keep the housing straight. Any diesel heater that has a three inch or smaller output hose, the three inch extendo vent should work for. Only other caveat is you do need about a five inch by five inch amount of space wherever you want the vent to be because that's how big the vent is. It's a little bit bigger than like a normal output vent. And when I originally came up with the idea to make this product, I really thought to myself, how hard could this possibly be? I mean, it's literally just like a compressible duct attached to like a little vent. Should take me about a week. Nope. But it turns out that these diesel heaters put out a ridiculously high temperature heat. The hottest that I've ever clocked with my heat gun is about 238 degrees Fahrenheit. But I finally found a material that allowed me to fit eight feet of compressible ducting. And unlike some of the initial cheap versions of ducting that I wanted to use from Amazon, uh, this one actually doesn't emit toxic fumes throughout your van for you to breathe in. And not only did it take a ton of time and energy to find that ducting material, but I also had to learn how to design stuff in CAD software. I had to learn everything about 3D printing and I tested about 10 different materials before I landed on this carbon fiber plastic that the vent is made out of. Over the last six months, I made almost a hundred iterations of just the vent thing to get the 
perfect amount of friction so that it slides in and out nice and easily and it doesn't rattle at all when you're driving down the road. I do plan on making a in-depth video on the whole journey I went down creating this thing, but I just wanted to give you guys the 10,000 foot view, mostly because these things are incredibly expensive. At least if I went to my website, wanted to buy one of these things and I saw the price, I'd be like, how the hell are these things that expensive? Turns out when you use all materials that are like specialized industrial materials made in the USA, and uh, when you do spend this much energy and engineering time making the product, it's gonna be kind of expensive. I'm super, super excited about this, guys. I really, really hope that this is as good of a product as I think it is and sells because I would love to make more van life products for you guys. If you do wanna buy this, it's on my website. 70savage.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Just a note, I'm currently manufacturing these things in my garage here. They're all handmade right now. So it will take a couple of weeks for me to ship these things out. And as I mentioned right at the start of this video, if this video gets 2000 likes, I'll give away three of these things for free, which is almost a thousand dollars of value. To do that, I will need the email address so that I can contact you, which YouTube doesn't give me for my subscribers. So go to my website, scroll to the bottom, Enter your email and it'll add you to the email list in the drawing. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your Drake Snake. I mean, extend event.